I can't believe I'm saying this, but Top Don just made battery chargers exciting. Yeah, let's let me show you why. So here we have the Top Don. It has one button on it. There's the the back side. There's nothing fancy on the device itself. It it's inside where it gets fancy. We're gonna test it on this here in just a minute, but we need to set up the Bluetooth because that connects to this, and that's where things get fun. All right, let's jump into the app. We just open it up after we downloaded it, of course. We're going to make sure we're connected via Bluetooth. It's a super easy connection. And then we're going to need to connect the device to the battery. All right, so we have it plugged in. We have it set up right here. All right, we're going to go, and we're going to plug this or clip this directly to our positive. we going to click this one. Yes, to your negative. That's what the instructions on this said. So we're gonna do that. We can see right there, we're gonna go 12.3, but let's go, let's go into the app and see what happens. All right, we're back on the app now. We're gonna go down here, we're gonna click on testing options. We're gonna click on battery test, and then it's gonna, yeah, we're gonna read all the stuff, set it up, do it right, don't be stupid, yada, yada, yada. And then we're gonna take battery type, okay? And this is a regular flooded battery there. Battery standard is gonna be CCA. That's what the numbers we use. And it's what's the battery rating? Well, the battery on this one is rated at 800. So we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to be ready to go. We click on next. It's going to take us over here. This is all real time here. And this literally real time. There we go. We're regular flooded CCA, 800 CCA, 100%, 62% state of charge. That's going to need to get addressed. We got the test value. We got the battery voltage. We got the internal resistance. We can save this. We can share it. We can do all sorts of good stuff with it but I think we need to go back over and we need to charge this thing. So let's go back to the main screen and we're gonna click on smart charging, all right? Got all the information already populated in there, ready to go. Love this, appointment for charging. If you click on that, this is where you can set up a time to charge us. We'll talk more about that later. That was really cool there. And uh, we go down and here we are. We're normal, let's, let's do this. It's gonna pre-test it, get it ready to go. And then it's gonna go straight into the charging, okay? Now we're gonna jump to where this is already done, okay? And we're gonna show you the test results. Test results on this, it was 32 minutes to do this this charge level on it and takes it from a battery level of 35 percent and you can see there this is great graphing i love this i'm a geek i love to see the data on this sort of stuff uh and we can see it's going to take it all up to a, a full charge there in 32 minutes and this is uh you know this is the replay in the in the diagnostics that said you don't want to watch it in real time that'd be a little bit boring but anyway, and then we can go back here and we can take a look at it. Like we can see the charge, we can see the test, we can we can sort through all the different data on this. We can go back and see the previous results that we had there. And again, we can share them and do all sorts of cool stuff with it. That's what I really love about this. And of course, we can take a look at the battery level. We can take it the charge level. All this is all the stuff that we've we've done, and we can actually look at the current state of the charge or the the float charging on this, if you will, because it will do that as well. Here we go, and this is what it looks like on the screen when we're done. I'm just gonna disconnect this, disconnect this, then we can unplug it and we're good to go. All right, now you're gonna have to bear with me here because we're gonna go through some of the features here and I'm gonna seem a little over the top because I'm just a little excited about what this thing can do. Reliable charging solution. Yeah, everyone can say they have a reliable charging solution, but here's what this unit does, the top-down unit does, that other ones don't. It has access to online databases. They can update that database through your phone. So the machine can sit there and it can get the data from the machine and it can analyze that and it can go, oh, here's what's going on based on what we've seen from other batteries of that type. That's not something you could do with other with most most other charges, especially at this price point. I know you want to hear the price point. We're not, I'm not going to tell you yet. You got to wait to the end because I know you're going to fast forward. You're just going to fast forward right now, whatever. But still, you're going to be stunned. I was stunned. All right. But anyway, uh, it does all sorts of batteries. Wet, it does gel, AGM, it does lead acid, as you saw, uh, 12 volt, 6 amp, 12 volt, 3 amp, 12 volt, 1 amp, 6 volt, 3 amp, um, lithium, lithium, uh, it was LifePo 4 batteries. That's what we see in those portable uh, and sometimes household uh, solar battery chargers. Uh, the things where you can lug a giant battery in. 
Those are deep cycle, long use lithium batteries, and they're fantastic. And having something like that works with this because a lot of people use those in motorhomes now. A lot of people are using them in their cars and stuff. Those are fantastic batteries, low maintenance batteries. They don't have the sparky problems that lithium uh, uh, polymer or uh, um, uh, what do you call it, a lithium phosphate batteries have. This is uh, this is good tech here. Now moving on, we saw the smart charging. Okay, that's the super easy. You just set it and forget it kind of if you will you plug it in you click on there and you get all sorts you get before and after you get charting if you like to geek out on data and you know i do uh, that that how can you not love this stuff as i said i'm, I'm getting a little excited about also it's got a manual mode so you can go into diy mode and there's two levels there's expert and there's and there's beginner mode so you can get started learn the basics and then if once you learn some more and you get going you can switch over to expert and uh, you can adjust all sorts of values within the nine step uh, process there, the charging, all sorts of really cool stuff in there. Um, the timed automatic charging. You can set this up on your bench, go in the app and say, start charging at one o'clock tonight or whenever, because based on when's the cheapest time for you to charge. Now, for some of us, I'm in Montana, not a problem for me. I know we got a lot of viewers who are in a lot of areas where that they get charged more during the day than they do at night. It's just the situation. No, there you go. You can do it now. How about expanded capabilities to test batteries? All right. It can add, accurately detect SOC, SOH, etc. various types of batteries. Uh, it does a 12 volt and 20 volt, 24 volt lead acid batteries. Uh, anyway, and you saw the diagnostics on the app. That's what I really love. This is really cool. Six months, you'll have access to these reports. You could share them with other people. I bet you could download them somehow. Maybe I'm not sure, but there's got to be a feature in there to download. If not, top down. If you're listening, you got to let us download the reports. It might be in there. Maybe I missed it. Anyway, if I did, look down in the comments after you watch this video. If I get feedback on that, I'll post a comment and pin it. Let you know whether you can download the reports. Uh, and, and this, this is not only does it so it tests the batteries, it also charges the batteries. They say it's a two it's a two process, but it also does it fixes batteries. It will help reduce and re, uh, the resistance that builds up after a battery's been stored for a long time, and it can do that through some modulation and stuff like that. So, e batteries that aren't taking a proper charge, it might be able to fix some of those. So, it actually is a, a three process device, and on top of it, it's built well. You know, the one they sent me here, uh, it it's it's they. We'll talk about it in a minute, but it, the build quality is fantastic. This definitely feels like it's a release, like it's not a pre-production. They didn't say it was pre-production. It came in a retail box. I'm looking. I thought I had the retail box around here. Um, but it it's water resistant. I, I wouldn't go swimming with it over you, but but water, dirt, things you need around a shop, around automobiles. You don't want crud getting in there and destroying this thing, right? Well, so now top down, you're, you're like, okay, well, this is great. I've never heard of this company. And I'll be honest, I only thought they mean inexpensive stuff until recently. I have an, an old OBD2 reader from them, and I have an old power supply, a battery power supply. This little thing looks like a TNT dynamite thing. Yeah, it's got a little plunger on it for a handle. Um and I just thought they made inexpensive, you know, DIY level kind of stuff. Oh, no. This is a major player, okay? These guys have all sorts of tech out there, and they're doing it at high levels. There's the new one we're talking about. The Phoenix, that's a high-end professional grade uh, diagnostic. We got car chargers and stuff like that. This is not just entry level kind of stuff. stuff. Let's talk about the chargers. They've got professional grade, they've got mid-level grade, they've got DIY grade. I mean, and these are, when I say professional, I mean, honest to goodness, professional grade chargers. What else do they have? Well, how about this? They got battery testers. We talked about this. If you just want to test a battery, look, they got a printout on that one. Uh, here's a battery charger. Oh, there's the power station. There's the power station that I have. Uh, they have the jump starters on that. What else do we got? We got key programmers. If you want to program some keys for your vehicles, they got all sorts of stuff that does that. Uh, they even have some fun other stuff. Look at this. They've got a, it turns your smartphone into a thermal camera. That's pretty good. I'd like to test that. I already have a, like an actual thermal camera here that does that i'd love to be able to do that right on my phone that would be cool the ev charger i talked about before thermal infrared camera um but all right they also look at this the top up program supporting young technicians all right they do sponsorship things for technical students professional students scholarships maintaining training helping all that good kind of good stuff and you can sign up for that uh, if you want to go to their website you can do that also get this you want to be a beta tester you can come on here and, and sign up to uh, to be a beta tester here for them. 
<laughs> it's with their test light program. Anyway, this is the thing. This is a Kickstarter program. And typically, I do not promote Kickstarter programs. I have a, a fairly firm rule of, of if I've never heard of you or dealt with you, I'm not going to promote your Kickstarter program because so many of them turn into vaporware. Here's the difference. Top Don, they're a 20-year-old company. They've been around for a while. Uh, I've seen, I've, I've have at least two of their products. I've held this product. This is a real product. You don't have, I mean, the making the hardware for this is nothing compared to the software behind it, making that work. And it, it clearly does. This thing is fantastic. Um, now they've got currently $27,000 pledged of uh, $10,000. But how much does this thing cost? This is where I kind of, this is probably why I get so excited about it. This thing is, they have an early bird. You can still get in on this. There's 360 of 500 backers left. So 360 people can jump in and get it at the early bird price of $69. MSRP on this is going to be 100 bucks. How many, I, I've bought, I'm gonna, I was going to ask you, how many uh, chargers, auto chargers and battery chargers, stuff, how many of those have you bought? Because I'll tell you what, buying a decent one will at that point is uh, I've spent easily that much on just a charger or that much on just a tester. Being able to charge, being able to test, being able to fix batteries, uh, it'll act as a float charger as well. It does all this stuff and it's smart and it works with my cell phone for $69. I'm sorry, that that who who else? If, if I'm wrong on this, Put down in the comments who else is doing all of that for that kind of price. All right. there, there's, And I'm not saying this is a professional grade product. It, this is not designed at, at like, you know, in the shop automotive professionals. Although maybe as an inexpensive solution, your own your own shop, that might be a way to go. But that said, uh, this is designed for avid, you know, automotive enthusiasts and stuff like that. Uh, battery enthusiasts, people like that. And But I can tell you this. I, if I... If I were shopping for one, because uh, I bought, as I said, I bought a lot, and they just they don't seem to last for me. Sixty nine dollars, no brainer. Even at hundred bucks, if I knew it was it was smart, capable, and I'd seen what it does, I don't think hundred bucks at all is. I was honestly expecting this to be a two hundred fifty dollar device. I was, and maybe I'm just completely out of it. But anyway, that was my my take on it. Anyway, thanks again, to Top Down, for sponsoring this video. I can't believe how excited I am to be using this thing. This thing is, it's just cool. It blows every other kind of battery tender charger I've ever used just completely out of the water. I know Kickstarter, I've not my favorite thing. Maybe you're going to wait. Maybe you're going to jump on the Kickstarter. I don't know, but this is cool. And with winter coming, might be something to think about. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.